Okay, good morning, my outstanding friends. All I can say is, yikes. <laughs> I've been talking about Mars and the life that is completely visible on Mars for years. I mean, many years. And this morning, I wake up to this. They got spiders all over what they call Inca City. It looks just like a city like Inca ruins, and now they find the spiders crawling all over them. They're not actually crawling all over them. I'm going to explain to you exactly what this is. And this is not, this is not new. This has been going on 10 years. They've known about this forever. And I, I, the only thing I can believe right now is that because I've been so vocal screaming about life on Mars, and I'm going to show you, I can absolutely 100% support every word I'm saying. And for them not to take notice of this has been really a disgrace for 10 years. And it's been suppressed. It's not that it, they didn't take notice of it, it's been suppressed. Now it can't be suppressed anymore. It's all over the news today. These spiders, and then they're going back to the crab, and they, the um, Mars Morse code, and the Mars blueberries. All that stuff was shown and was a big, big thing in the news. And then they, everybody laughed it off. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. And that was it. And they just folded up. Well, this time, I, I don't think it's going to fold up anymore. We can't, we can't put up with this forever. We can't put up with this suppression of, of truth. It's just it's, it's out of control. So here we go. Okay, my friends, prepare for this. This is a young guy who's gone out. He's looking on Google Earth, and he's finding these crazy looking things, and then he goes out and, and looks into them. And there's, there's a, a bunch of people doing that same sort of stuff. And I comment on what they found. Now this is the Trek Planner. And um, he says it's a slot canyon. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll give you, just give you the end result, and then I'll show you how I realize that it is. This is all muscle. This is just muscle. It's not just some kind of formation of rocks and hills. Now let me explain to you how I can make that statement stick. All right, these are just different layers of tissue in this canyon that he's in. And this is muscle, and this is an abrupt transition in a, in a membrane. All right, so here he is with his drawing. This, I'm going to tell you right now, is biology. Now watch this. I'm going to stop it here and there. It's on very slow speed. All right, now you see these breaks in these walls? This is some kind of tissue. Now whether they're sarcomeres, I'm not sure. They could be some kind of intestinal tissue as well. But these breaks are seals. They're, they're, they're sealed together here. They're called tight junctions, they're st or they could be loose junctions, but normally they're tight junctions. And there's like a slurpy in between, that's that blackish looking stuff that keeps them separated but glued together so they can sort of move around. Now here he is walking down through here. This is nothing more than tissue, this is body tissue. All these colors, these red and black, that's all blood colors. Now here he is looking down. You see these? I'm going to stop this in a second. You see that? I'm going to show you what intestinal tissue and stomach tissue looks like. Or it even could be sarcomeres, but I'm leaning more towards the uh, digestive tissue. You see down here? Look. Look at this whole area here. It's... Um, it could be digestive tissue, I don't know. So don't forget let, forget this. I, this is, I believe it's muscle, but it could be digestive area. All right, I believe this is all um, stomach tissue or digestive area. But you can see it's basically the same structure he was looking at. This has all the very still extremely red blood underneath. And I believe this is somewhere in the intestines, it absorbs things through this membrane into the red blood. That's how you live. You absorb the nutrients through the membranes. See that? That's a, that's a stomach, and so is that. This guy's walking around on there. It's not much different than what we were looking at before. These creatures were astronomically large, 
it's just a fact. It's what it was. All right, so we have established how large these creatures were here on Earth, and the same thing as up on Mars. There was no difference whatsoever. And this is Mars, just today, they came out with this. Mars Express spots spiders at outskirts of Martian Inca City. Let me show you this. This is just t t April 24th. They spotted telltale traces of, traces of spiders. Well, let's take a look deeper into this. Okay, you see this? This is huge. This is Inca City, they call this. And these are these patterns that they're seeing, and then they see these little spiders inside. Alright, these are the spiders inside of these little, whatever they are. They call it Inca City. And here's what they look like up close. Now this is after the, the winter freezes them solid, and in the spring they pop up through these little spots. They call them freckles scattered all across the sand. All right, and they come out after the, the thawing of the ice. It says, however, the color and stereo surface imaging aboard the star orbiter can see across a wider wavelength range and reveals the spidery tendrils rating outward just below the surface of the ice. So you don't really see these when you're looking at them. You have to have this special instrumentation, but it does show you these patterns. Those patterns are this, the patterns of basically skin cells. All right, they're basically these kind of patterns right here. This is from my my leather jacket. <laughs> this is what leather looks like when you get up real close to it. In some, there's all kinds of different leather. That's one style. Um, I think I took some other ones. But this here, this is on the surface of the earth. You see that right there? That's in Africa. That's, that is not just sand dunes. Those are, that's skin. That is a texture of skin. And that's in Africa. You see this? This is the spiders again. Same thing. That is the texture of skin. Those are the little skin wrinkles that go inside. And the sweat pores and stuff are in these areas. There it is again. These are nothing more than skins. This is skin. And these are where they pinch together. And then the skin can pull this way and that way and this way, but it always comes back to its anchor. And that's what skin looks like up close. The same thing with this. This can pull this way and that way and this way and any which way, but it will come back to where these anchors are. That's how skin is built. And this is the same thing. These are those Mars no um, spiders only there this is an enhanced version these are all little tiny blood vessels little tiny tiny blood vessels that are in there and that's where it pinches together but it can still stretch and move and these have to be able to twist and form and all that for the blood to keep going where it's supposed to go you see this I'm going to show you in close this is a tendon area and it wraps like around here and invests right here. And these are the tendon fibrils. Now, I'm going to show you something real close up here. This is nothing more than like that Inca City. Now, you see these little areas between the blocks? That's goo. That is a gooey substance. It's called small leucine-rich proteins when it was alive. And that way there, this thing could move all around and it would still stay glued together. These are slurpees, I call them, small leucine-rich proteins. They can slide around. Now, let's take a look at the Mars Inca City. All right, here's the Inca City. Remember what I just showed you? Here it is right here, the same stuff. This is the slurpee. It's in between these blocks. And you see these little dots all in here? <laughs> Where did I show you this? This is my belt. All right, so here's, you got the blocks, then you got the little slurpees. This is my belt. <laughs> you see these little dots? They're the same thing as you're looking at. This was, they burnt in here, it's, it's called a utility belt or something. And those are the little dots that are the spiders. <laughs> those are the spiders. <laughs> 
and these are the Slurpees that run around them. Uh, and Mars is covered with biology. This is saturated. This is the Mars crab. It's the vein and the artery. That's the artery and that's the vein. And it all leaked its blood down here. These are the muscle sarcomeres. Shown us hundreds of times. Hundreds. And the same as the sarcomeres that are in a, a person's body right here. The same as these sarcomeres. And they erode down these spots here and all the red stuff erodes right out. The dark stuff erodes right out. The white stuff stays. It's very tough. It's connective tissue. And here's what it is when you get right up close. These are the Mars crab right here. The dust of blood feeds everything. And all of these have eroded away and all you have left is the connective tissue. And this is on Mars because there is absolutely no erosion whatsoever from water. None. You could, this is impossible to have this happen on Earth. This is the Mars Morse code. These are this interstitium balls and the straps and they stretch and they pull and they do all that stuff. Right? And, they, they, and this is so ero this is just barely dusted off. This can, it's impossible to get this texture on Earth. It cannot happen. It's impossible. This is Mars. So don't come around with all this stuff about Mar this is not Mars. You're like, it's crazy. You know, all I can think is that they're putting that against me to try to make my channel look foolish. So I'm not going to have it. Just don't do that stuff. It's just an, an argument that has no end. Because this is Mars, and this is no question whatsoever. You cannot get this texture on Earth. So that case is closed for me. Now, so here we are on Mars, and this is, the, this is nothing more than skin. That's nothing more than skin stretched. All right, and this is nothing more than muscle eroded. And these are nothing more than the Mars blueberries, which are the little balls in the skin and all the straps wash away and you end up with the balls. We have them on Earth, they're Moki marbles. On Earth they are somewhere around here. They are right here. They're the Moki marbles. On Earth this is the same thing as the Mars blueberries. Same exact same thing. And these are the exact same thing, only they're a little bigger and they're in the ocean. This is in the dry land and all of the muddy stuff has run away. This, all the mud is right here. It's eroded away from here and these are the balls. This is the interstitium. Same exact same identical stuff that's up on Mars. There it is right there. There's a Mars interstitium. They call it the Mars Morse code. This goes back to 2015. They saw all these things. They saw this. They saw the blueberries, and they saw the crab, and they all made big jokes about, oh, there's a crab up on Mars, yeah, 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 it's a big funny thing. Well, it was not so funny, it's real. And, you know, because they can make big jokes about it, and then laugh at people that, that want to investigate this, that's how they do things. They ruin the truth. On Earth, we have, this is a muscle, this is a mountain, it's made out of muscle, and this is connective tissue. That's not erosion and you know, sediment here and there. Absolutely not. It's the guy's van. It's just, this is a mountain. It's made out of muscle. The same kind of muscle as I have here in my shop. Right there, that's a muscle. This is it right here. The bone is attached right here. There's the tendon, and that's the muscle part. And muscle, tendon, the bone's back over here. I have, I have the most complete collection of mud fossils that exist. And I know all the details about them. And I know the chemistry. I know what happens with the nucleophilic invasion and substitution. I know the hot water and the heavy silicates and the salts change the phospholipids down to aluminum silicates, which is feldspar. Feldspar coats all these rocks. All the rocks I have basically are coated with feldspar. This is all feldspar. That's all feldspar. And that's that slurpy in between the tendon. These are tendons. All right, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee here. This is crazy to keep walking around in circles. Now, oh, we're looking for life. We're looking for life. Oh, boy, are we looking for bacteria. We're looking for little microbes. We're looking everywhere. We're doing it. They're turning things upside down. We're spending billions of dollars to do this. This is wasted money, wasted time. 
Now, I just want to finish it up here with about this guy here, Fossil Friday, suppressed dissident about Neanderthal DNA in modern humans. They're just upset about having some kind of DNA that links us to Neanderthal, Neanderthals. Just think about what I'm encountering by giants and dragons and everything else. This guy, who was a, a, a full scholar, they would not let him publish his papers because they went against what they considered to be, you know, proven science. Well, it's not proven, and this guy got real upset. You see, here it is, obscure forums. How did science, scientific establishment react to this maverick view? Actually, in spite of his credentials and in spite of his thorough augmentation and analysis, Amos tried in vain to get his dissenting hypothesis published in a peer-reviewed academic journal. Since 2017, his manuscript is still only available as preprint. But at least he managed to publish two related papers in open science. Nobody want nobody to publish it. They won't publish it. And me, they won't even talk to him because I, you know, he, this guy's all fully credentialed. He's got all the stuff, and he's in. He's I don't know where he works, but he's amongst these other scholars, and they still won't let him talk about it. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna leave it at that. This is biology. All right. I am not a crazy person. I present evidence to support every single statement I make, every single syllable. I have evidence supporting it. I don't make these crazy, insane statements like this. Just oh, it's all crazy. It's all fake. It's this or that. No. When I show it, I show it, and I show the evidence to support that this, these are either sarcomeres or muscle investments. These are junctions. These are cellular junctions. All right, so let's stay with reality. All right, I need to have reality. I need more thumbs up. I need more people sharing. I need people speaking honestly and truth and not trying to to make my channel look silly. All right, it's been, it worked very, very well for these people for 15 years. And I'm just not going to have it anymore. All right, I love you all. Try to stay reality and, and we'll all investigate this together. And we'll get to figure out what our real true past was. Because now it's obscured and it's covered up. And they can point to say, all oh, these people, they're just crazy, silly people. They're talking about all this. Nothing's real anymore. Everything's a conspiracy. No. Everything I point to is reality and touchable and testable. All right? I have no, no conspiracy in me whatsoever. I have material science. Stick with that and we'll all get along. All right, I love you all.